What are we talking about today? Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to What Are We Talking About? Today we're talking about Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. I'm gonna put my cards right on the table and just let you know it's the worst one. <laughs> oh, it is. At least in my opinion. You might have a different opinion and that's perfectly fine. But, I'm gonna form this review in the way of a compliment sandwich. Do you know what a compliment sandwich is? No. You start by saying something good about it, and then you shit on it, and then you end by saying something good about it, so that, you know, you bookend it with something nice. If you can. You're not gonna have much bread with your fucking meat. No, it's gonna be a real hearty sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... First of all, something nice I'd like to say about Attack of the Clones is, uh, <laughs> Ewan McGregor does a good job, and the scenes that have him in it, even though you can tell that it's just Ewan McGregor walking around in a green room, like, <laughs> looking, and there's just a guy with a tennis ball on a stick, like, hey, this is another person, and then there's a voiceover artist, like, over, and he's just like, oh! I guess that's Bane, not, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we've been expecting you, like, I think that was just, I'm pretty sure that was just a dude with a tennis ball on a stick walking around and like, oh, Ewan McGregor gave, made you believe that he was actually a person in this world, even though he's just a guy in a green room, like, walking around, most of that's, those scenes, he's just by himself, oh, yeah. Yeah. like, I don't know. To me, he's pr pretty much the best part of the prequels, in like, the best thing that yeah, it, for every single episode. I mean, he wasn't that much in episode one. He was mostly he stayed on the ship on Tatooine and shit, right? But no, I definitely really liked Ewan McGregor in episode two. I don't know anything good you want to see? I have like one thing. Okay, well, do you want to save it for the end? We'll or save it for the end. Right? Okay. Time to shit on it, I guess. Yeah. It sucks. Padme and Anakin, I mean, this. You'll, you've definitely heard this from a lot of people anyways. I mean, this is my opinion. I think the relationship between Padme and Anakin, it's like forced and to, a, to an extent creepy. Yeah. Like, there is Anakin some, is... He has some creepy moments, that's for sure. Oh, like, definitely. And like... We know you grew up on a sand planet. Calm down about the sand. It's like... I don't know. Also, I mean... <clears throat> so, here's the one thing. Here's something that's a little bit positive, I guess. George Lucas can shoot beautiful scenes. Like, the stuff that is actual... I mean, the CGI still holds up to some extent. It's not completely good. You can... Oh, yeah. yeah. It's starting to like not be good anymore but uh the stuff that's actually practical in those movies looks really good and still holds up completely it's just when they're when they talk is the problem yeah oh yeah right that's awful so he can he he's a good he's good at shooting a movie but he's not necessarily the best at writing a script like i'd, I'd be interested to see george lucas write a story get somebody to go back over and write rewrite the script and then George Lucas be there with them to direct, like kind of a co-opted direct thing, because George Lucas, I've heard at least, I've never been an actor on one of his movies, but I've heard that he's not the best at directing actors, right? So mm -hmm. he would maybe needs his buddy Steven there to uh, <laughs> help get the best performance out of the actors. But uh, <clears throat> no, I don't know. Overall, there's just a bunch of things wrong with it, and it's kind of a mess. And I think that it what the worst part about it is the that romance. well not only that but to most people it showed at Star Wars Episode One wasn't a mistake and in fact it can get worse than Star Wars Episode One right yeah that's true yeah so like it was it to me it's like I said it's the worst one I don't know what what else do you have anything else to say about it. Anything specific? You pretty much got most of it. Like, it's... Yeah, like, it's... We can talk about the lightsaber battle for a little while. About... I was gonna say, that's, like... 
the battle is the only good thing. Well, battle at the end. Some the of arena, the battle. And oh, that battle is good. The, the arena battle and a lot of like the, the war the war going on the battle of geonosis yeah and but then as soon as it cut as soon as we start seeing the fight with dooku then it's just like well and the problem is dudes just waving their lightsabers like this with close-up shots mm -hmm. like, we don't see that much of the battle of geonosis like no. if we see a short little maybe 10 minute scene right of all combined of like maybe more than that 50 minutes tops but there's a lot more of just like, I mean, the, the if you include the, the entire, I mean, I guess I like when the animals and stuff are attacking Anakin, Obi-Wan, and They're okay. Padme. It's, okay, it's, yeah. not the, it's not bad, but one thing I find hilarious is Padme <clears throat> gets like scratched with, by, by th like three claws, right? By that cat, mm -hmm. or whatever it was, cat creature thing. And so... It scratches her, and then all of a sudden, her shirt from like this high down is just gone. And then it slowly That's gets it. more and more ripped, and then her sleeve is gone, and then like she's just got no sleeves, and it's just like super cropped. It's like the weirdest thing. It's like George Lucas was trying to recreate the uh, Leia in a gold bikini thing with Natalie Portman in a tiny little white shirt but yeah it was just weird I mean I, I'm not complaining Natalie Portman's not bad looking by any means <clears throat> but uh, it just seemed weird and a little bit yeah I don't know out of place <coughs> uh, do you think maybe George Lucas was imagining himself as <coughs> Anakin Skywalker in that movie just could be creeping hard <laughs> that's some of the like yeah I mean that's what makes this movie so much harder to watch than anything else is, like you said, is the romance between Anakin and Padme because it's not really romance. It's just one dude that's kind of been stalking her <laughs> secretly in his dreams and now he's being super creepy and, like, trying to seduce her. Maybe he's doing Jedi mind tricks. We don't know. Yeah. Technically, like, I don't know how strong with the Force he is. Maybe... Because do you think any chick is really attracted to what he was saying and how he was acting? Uh, I don't he's think acting so. like a psycho and he's saying the creepiest shit. Yeah. So, like, he must have some level of persuasion is all that I can imagine. Kill Grave. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Overall, it's Star Wars. Technically. Yeah. Like, it it has the name Star Wars in it, and it's got some characters that we know. And like I said, Ewan McGregor, is, his parts are good. The battle uh, of Geonosis is a good part, I think. They shoehorned the Death Star into this episode, so that's a thing. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> the, the, so apparently some bugs created the Death Star. Helped, anyways. Yeah, they designed it, at least. But, uh... I don't know, I, I think Django Fett, I, didn't know. I don't know I don't, what to think I about it. I don't like the whole idea of that Boba Fett is just a clone. Oh, I don't like Django. that. But in terms of Django Fett as a character by himself, like I I don't mind Django Fett as a character. He for All we've seen of him is, other than like the fact that it made it so that Boba was just a clone of him or whatever, right? Yeah, it's, it's but if awesome. you just look at Django Fett as a character... Pretty badass, I think. Uh, he, the only person that manages to finally kill him is Mace Windu, who is one of, according to canon, one of the best, like, saber fighters, mm -hmm. right? But uh, I don't know. I definitely, if I'm gonna watch all the movies, and I'm gonna skip one, it's gonna be this one. Oh yeah. yeah. Even though a lot of other people will say that Phantom Menace is the worst one, I just have nostalgia for that one, so it's different. Whereas this one, I was old enough where it was like, I was starting to see just how shitty the prequels were. Oh, but yeah. then episode three, I think, is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. Sorry. It's nowhere near as good as four, five, and six, but it's definitely the best prequel by far. But we'll get to that later. 
I don't know. Anything else you want to say about episode two? Worst movie. Ever. Yeah, definitely the worst of the six. And I think it's going to be safe to say that there's no way that episode seven can be worse than it. I won't jinx it. Well, dude, do you th honestly think... Just think for a second. No, I won't. Think, let's think logically about this. I know that's a different franchise, but uh, even use your feelings. Do you f use use the force, Logan? Do you think that episode seven will be worse it's than episode two? Exactly. So I don't know. Don't watch it. It's the worst one. I wish it didn't exist. I mean, I wish that, I want to see the Phantom edit, where it's at, they take episode one, I, I think it was actually, Eric Foreman, uh, what's his name? Tober, no, uh, something Grace, I don't Tober know. Grace. He apparently edited it up, down, I don't know if it was all three of the prequels, or just one and two or something, but he edited them down, and it's called the Phantom edit, and it's, they, he takes out all the shitty parts, and just leaves the meat and gravy in there. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know what else to say other than I didn't like it. Yeah. So, let us know what you think about episode two. If you enjoyed it, that's great. Let us know in the comments and, uh, I don't know, share your thoughts with everyone. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. That's it. Never stop using the force. Force be with you. Always.